This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 7, APIs and Functional and Function Parameters, Part 7. Let's see what we have. Multiple parameters making arcs. Many commands need more than one parameter to make sense. When a command needs more than one parameter, the parameter is separated by commas, and the order of the parameter matters. Two new commands have been added to the block palette, arc left and arc right, which both accept parameters. And remember, parameters are the code that goes in between the parentheses. Read the documentation. Read the documentation for arc left and arc right. Ooh, okay. So arc right. I'm hovering over. Let's see example. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh. Angle and then the radius, is that what it just says? Arc right is angle of movement. Okay, so this will be our angle of movement. That will be the radius of movement. Interesting. Cool, I'm excited to test that. Okay. Um, and I would assume, yep. All right. Using arc left, and draw a squiggly line. Using arc left and arc right, along with ones you already have learned, learned, draw a purple squiggle on a blue background. Feel free to use any method for choosing colors that you've already learned. All right. So, color, we're going to do on a, that looks light blue to me. And then we need, well, a, let's just do the dot. Uh, 500, that should give me my blue background. Yep, all right. And now a squiggle. So if I start down here, right arc, I think. I'm not sure, let's see what, oh, I need to change the color. To purple, let's see what this does. Oh. oh, I would have assumed, let's see, maybe 180. Whoop, not, not that. All right, let's use left, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to try turning right before. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better. Um, now the radius. Angle and then radius. That's fine. Radius more like 10 to make it smaller. That's a bit better. I wonder if there's a slightly bigger. Let's increase the pen width. To 5 maybe. Oh, I'm liking that. That looks pretty good. All right, and then arc left, arc right, I guess. And then let's try 180 and 10. Oh, now I'm going to use functions, right? So I'm going to drop a function in here and arc left. Um, I'm going to call it a squiggly, okay? And then I'm going to call that function, right? So now this function, instead of keep writing right and left, I'm just going to use a function call and write squiggly. Yep, and again. Ooh. 
Oops, I missed a... We're getting there. One, two, three. I'm going to do show text, and then I'm just going to copy and paste. Right? So this... Every time I write squiggly, what's happening is the code. It's hitting this code, and it says squiggly. What's that? And the computer looks around. Oh, oh, here's a function squiggly. Runs the code inside, moves the turtle or the mouse, and then goes back here and starts running more. That might even be one too many. We're overachievers. That looks like it to me. Perfect. And maybe you, let's see, 10. No, it's not 10. I say 5. Alright. So, yep, that's it. And that's the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.